Have you ever thought about watching and waiting at your door? There's a phrase in the Bible. This is Walk and Talk 213. There's a phrase in the Bible that says, watching daily at my gates. When you think about everyday life, you're always going through a gate, a door. And the Bible says, watching daily at my gates. Have you considered the privilege and the advantage of watching and waiting for God? Most of us go through life and we get to a door, we get to a gate, and we hurry, we enter and go through it. But the Bible says in Proverbs 8.34, watching daily at my gates. Here's the verse. The Bible says, blessed is the person who listens to God watching daily at my gates, waiting at my doorposts. So the context here is God loves to give wisdom. God is wisdom. The context here is God is available as you go throughout your life daily to give you wisdom, watching and waiting for God. Most of us, we want to hurry. Can I make some practical suggestions? Slow down. God wants to bless you, but going through the doors of life, going through life, rushing is not going to help you. It's going to hurt you. What the Bible is simply saying is step into the transitions of life, step into your life, and pause, wait. What, what the Bible is saying is God wants you to focus. God wants you to listen. There is a constant challenge as we move throughout the day in a hurry to miss the important things. And the important thing as you go from door to door or room to room, as you move throughout your life from eight o'clock to nine o'clock to 10 o'clock is you're not hearing from God. And the Bible is simply saying, at, at my door, at the, at the important places of life, uh, several thousands of years ago when Proverbs was written, the gate was the big spot. It was the place where people would, would assemble. It was kind of equivalent to your living room or your kitchen or it was the spot where people, friends and neighbors would gather and talk and share ideas and listen to each other. It, it's kind of like the classroom. I'm simply suggesting to you that the Bible is saying when you watch and wait for God, God wants to bless you. So there's something about the sovereignty of God. Watch and wait for God. Go slow. Remember, 
God is wisdom. God has a ton of wisdom to give to you. But you got to go slow enough and you got to be watching. You've got to be listening. You got to be waiting for God. So when you go through your day, do you recognize sovereignty? So you recognize your presence, you recognize the presence of someone else as you go from room to room or this location to another location. But how about sovereignty? Sovereignty is complete final authority. Sovereignty equals God. There's no greater authority than God. What you have here in this verse is a recognition of God, a higher, highest power. Many individuals are going through life and not focused, not listening, not being guided, not being paying attention to God. God in the Bible, the God of the universe, is sovereign. There's not a greater authority. There's not a greater power. I'm simply encouraging you to recognize as you go throughout the day, there is a God with final authority, creator of everything, who wants to give you wisdom. Watch and wait. Slow down. Recognize the sovereignty of God. And listen. And be blessed. Lots of times, the rush of the day ignores God. The busyness of the day. Who's next to you? Who's in front of you? Who's behind you? Who's with you? And the answer is always God. Regardless of your challenge, regardless of your situation, regardless of your problems, it doesn't matter where you're at, which door you're going through, watch and wait for God. Blessed is the person who listens to the wisdom of God, watching daily at my gates, the gate of wisdom, watching my doorposts, the entrance to wisdom. God is ready to give. God is ready to encourage, support, uh, give you his truth. But you must be willing to look. You must be willing to slow down. Yes, we have work to do. Yes, we have places to go. Yes, we have things to do. Yes, there are deadlines. Yes, there are responsibilities. I'm simply suggesting watch and wait for God. The Bible is saying in Proverbs 834, you're blessed if you're watching daily for the wisdom of God as you go from point A to point B. Simple practical suggestions. Slow down. The sovereignty of God, God in all of his authority and power is with you. Focus. 
pay attention. Make sure that as you go from place to place, you invite God. He's in front of you. He's behind you. Where you're at right now, regardless of what season of life or what problems you face, he's with you. Let me give you a practical suggestion. Recently, a young couple uh, said to me they were burned out, they were fearful, they were angry, they were, in their words, uh, sleeping 10, 12, 15 hours a day, discouraged, frustrated. This young couple was had accepted a job and because of the job circumstance because the job didn't come in their terms because the job was challenging because there were parts of the the job that frustrated them they were filled with anxiety they had got caught up in the fear of failure. They quit watching and waiting for God. As a matter of fact, this young couple, as with this tremendous job offer, they basically took God out of the picture. God was not even a part of their emotions, their thinking, their problem solving. Uh, the, God was there existentially. God was there academically to them, but not practically, not personally. Can I just encourage you? There is a God. He is sovereign and wants to bless you, but he's simply saying, watch and wait for my wisdom. Slow it down. God is full of love, full of wisdom, full of truth. He is sovereign. He's all-powerful. You can't manipulate him. You can't force him. You can't somehow make God do something. Be patient. The idea of watching in Proverbs 8.34, watching daily at my gates, watching is active. It's present tense. It's, it's I am focused. I am looking for God. Slow it down. Tune in to the presence of God. You remember that verse in the Bible, be still and know that I am God? Are you st quiet enough? Are you slow enough? Are you focused enough on God to give you his wisdom, to give you his blessings? Blessed is the person who listens to the wisdom of God. Blessed is the person who's watching daily at the the wisdom gates of God. Blessed is the person who's waiting at the doorpost to the wisdom of God. This is Proverbs 8.34. The watch and the wait law. If you watch and wait for God, God has a law that says he will bless you. He will help you. He will encourage you. I said to this young couple who was burnt out and angry and frustrated, they know the Bible. They know what the Bible says. I says, where is God in this challenge of yours, in this job opportunity? I said, is God active or inactive? I said to them, can you... Can you wait? Can you pray? Can you trust? Can you believe in God? And both of them 
immediately recognized that the sovereign God of the universe, they had X'd out. They were so worried about the fear of failure that God was no longer number one to them. Every part of the job opportunity was basically about their failure. I'm encouraging you, wait on God, watch for God as you go from the different rooms of your life because the wisdom of God, the sovereignty of God, the promises of God, the help from God, the truth from God is always active. But you have to look for it. You have to recognize. You have to appreciate. Are you afraid of failure? Are you challenged by worry or doubt? The law of watching and waiting for God can transform your emotions. You can go from being apathetic or frustrated or stressed out to energized, to being relaxed. There is a God, the God of the Bible. He is sovereign and wants to bless you. Blessed is the person who listens to the wisdom of God. Blessed is the person who's watching daily at God's wisdom. Everywhere you go, waiting at the doorpost, waiting at the door, expecting, looking, watching, waiting to welcome God. I'm encouraging you, yes, relax. Yes, have a cup of coffee. But how about watch and wait for God? How about bringing God back in to your heart? How about Shifting your focus from, I don't have this, this, or this, but I have God. Many times we're going through life discouraged. Can I suggest to you that whenever you feel discouraged, you have removed the sovereignty of God, the wisdom of God from your life, from your thoughts, from your emotions. You have moved from the fear of God to the fear of failure. You want to be honoring God, respecting God, watching and waiting for God. Take your biggest problem, whatever it may be. It could be the lack of money or the absence of money. It could be something, some bad information the doctor gave you. It could be a health crisis. The God of the Bible, sovereignty, is bigger than all of that and promises to bless you. But he's asking you to watch and wait. He's asking you to trust to believe. And in this process, he's willing to give you his wisdom. Wisdom that we cannot possibly understand. Be still and know that I am God. So I'm not sure what you're stressing over. I'm not sure what you're doubting over. I'm not sure what your challenges are, but we all, we all have stress. We all have worry. We all have problems. Blessed is the person who listens. Make sure that you're constantly ready 
willing, uh, believing, and make sure that you're, you've not removed God, but you have welcomed God as you enter the different rooms of your life. Because at every door, every door is God. Every gatepost, every entrance is God. You cannot get away from God. And God is willing to say, wait for me, watch for me, look for me, slow down, listen to me. And the, and the Bible says, be blessed. He's willing to help. The idea of blessing is a helping hand from God. The sovereign God of the Bible is bigger than any problem I will ever face or you will ever face. Why not watch and wait for God? Listen to his truth. Listen to his wisdom. This is Walk and Talk 213. It's May 30th. It's a, a, in the ballpark around... 524 a.m. when I went out the door this morning it was 69 degrees it was beautiful in Mesa Arizona it doesn't matter where you're at God is bigger wiser more powerful than any problem you will face watch and wait for God. Uh, please come to worship this week, uh, 9.30 and 11 o'clock, First Baptist Church, Tempe, Arizona, 4525 South McClintock. Go to our website, fbc-tempe.org. You can call the church office, ask for one of the pastors. If I'm available, I'm happy to help, 480-839-0926. Everywhere you go, watch and wait for God, His wisdom, and be blessed. Everywhere you go, God is already there. God is behind you. He's to your left and to your right. He's all-powerful, all-knowing. He's sovereign. Go slow. Stand still. Be still and know there is a God who's sovereign. Listen, watch, wait for his truth. Have a blessed one.